Nej. So City killed already one of your questions, eh? After the everyone, who'd like to kick it off? Um, Jürgen, if I can just ask you your thoughts on the performance today, was it as much about the result as anything else? Yeah, of course. No doubt about that. Um, these games can go either way. It's like um, if you score early, really early, and then um, just get in kind of a flow, then it can go one to one direction. But um, not very likely, and it's uh, really unlikely that after international break you see the best game of the season. So we had to 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 work through this game um, against. Uh, Very well organized Watford side. Eh? Roy is doing a really incredible job. They didn't, after one nil down, nothing changed. Going for counter attacks when the players came on, going for counter attacks, these kind of things makes it uncomfortable. And um, so we had in the first half, obviously, the, the one scary moment when Ali had this incredible save. But we scored our goal nice and, and, and kept it controlled, which is the most important thing. And then um, scoring the second was obviously a kind of a relief. And um, Yeah, win the game. It's all we wanted. We, the boys delivered, and so now we can carry on. It's still your celebrations at the final whistle when you were the top of the league, as you said. <laughs> Does that show that this title race is going to be like that all the way? You can't give an inch. No, you can't give an inch, but it's another to do with being on top of the table. I didn't think about that in the moment. I was just happy to win the game and having now 72 points or whatever. Um, No, um, yeah, hopefully. So uh, f to 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 keep it a title race, we have to win our football games. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it will be really tricky. And the next Premier League game, obviously, um, is a big one. We don't, we will not hide from that. And um, so it's all good. But now we have a Champions League game to play, which is as important. And um, yeah. Three days time to prepare that. Benfica is a one, and then um, we go from there. You look pretty relaxed. Does it feel that relaxed at this point of the season is going to be the most intense couple of weeks? It is, but I really, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate the situation we are in. I told the boys when now yesterday, yesterday we had the first time when we were all together. Somebody would have told us in the summer in a really good preseason which we had that we are. Um, um, end of March, early April, in the situation we are in, in, in all competition, one one trophy in all competitions, and um, the full squad available. Hopefully, this will stay forever. Um, we all would have taken it. So F, absolutely. So, and the, the only better situation would have been because in the cup competition we couldn't be further. The only better if we are 20 points ahead of City, but that's not possible actually or not um, and that's why um, it's all fine like it is and I enjoy the situation that's true um, and I don't think so how I said before we are not favorite in one of the competitions we are in but who cares we will give it a try that's where managing the stress with players just say this nothing to Yeah, like nothing to do with managing it's just I, I feel like this so it's not that I pretend to be in that mood I cannot change it um, and the boys hopefully see it similar um, it's not managing the, the situation or the pressure or whatever so if people see the situation like pressure I'm not sure I can change that if they see it as an opportunity I think it's the right way to do uh, because we have we create a basis which we could use but nobody knows because um, the opponents have their own targets and they really go for it and um, I know people said Watford is pretty much easy game whatever we, we knew before and we saw today it's not easy then probably people waved us already through the, the uh, to the semi-finals of the Champions League because Benfica is Benfica and that's all that's all a joke so we, we can I cannot see situations like this Benfica is um Extremely strong, especially when you let them be. And that's um, what we have to think about now, how we can deny that. Um, and that's it. Chris Masker. The belief come from? Where, where are we? 
I guess we had, didn't have a lot of opportunities uh, or alternatives to do it differently, like um, because we are 14 games, uh, 14 points behind City, that's a, then that means you are in trouble with qualifying for the Champions League if the others are not 15 points away as well, so or 20 points in the best way. So um, that was the reason we had to. You have to. If you cannot become champion, you have to. But we have to qualify for the Champions League, and that's why there was no reason to think about anything different. And the rest came then we had no influence in that we had no no chance to influence city's game since then and um, i saw some of them even when i didn't win the, 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 f the performance level was incredible so we re didn't really think about it we want to qualify for the champions league we want to come in a cup competition as far as possible and if possible win it of course um and the rest is just just happened while we are trying to play the we are trying to play the best football possible uh, today we didn't obviously not play the best football possible but it was good enough to be the deserved winner of a football game and that must be sometimes just enough and um, I was really happy today with, with the whole stuff we, we came through. I didn't expect that for one second that we will be flying today um, but we had good moments, less good moments once when we needed Ali, two nice goals and all good. On the back row. Yeah, what's your, your view on the, on the penalty? Basically, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see the situation back. I, I asked, <laughs> um, and somebody said it was around the corner, but it was in the second post area. So I can now say I didn't see it yet, but I can tell you how often I watched football games in my life and how often I said that must be a penalty. Because it should not be allowed. If the ball is going there or not, if you, why, why you wrestle in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the 18 yard box? It's just, I think we all want to see goals. And um, if you, you can see more goals, if we just say you have to defend football uh, um, set pieces legally. So, and if you take somebody and bring him down, it's a penalty for me, even when the ball is not around. It was always like this. Always saw it like this, but never happened. But again, I didn't see it back. I don't know exactly how this situation was, but yes, I was surprised um, that um, he went for the screen. So it's not been, a, it's not been mentioned in the Western world to say this was this was out of bounds. No, I spoke only briefly with the boys and said what I had to say, and then I left for interviews. Last couple, uh, Paul Joyce. Yeah, um, the ability of players to come in and step up is going to be important in the week. Joe Gomez doesn't have a frustrating season, but comes in and creates the first goal. What's that say about his mentality? Yeah. Is it a good message for all the squad? Yeah. Not only this today, but this as well. We had now really um, from the bench a lot of game changers in the games, but uh, even when we rotated and the boys started, um, they never disappointed. And Joy obviously was the opposite of disappointing today. Um, we It was pretty clear Joy could... <laughs> unfortunately train with us the full week <laughs> because he was not on international duty but then um, we already knew that it will be tight for for trend or in the beginning of the week we didn't even know if there's a chance now we saw obviously well, there was a chance but we because we saw um, Joey the whole week in training it was clear that he will start there um, and he did really well and he could have set up a second goal second half the, the cross was an incredible one as well um, defensively we don't have to talk offensively some really good moments and some not so good moments because then you do see that the positioning against a deep sitting opponent then it's not so easy to find the right position in these moments and we are usually a bit more flexible there but that's all fine so he's an outstanding football player um, and yeah he will play a lot of games during his career 100 percent and um, he will play here a lot of games definitely and um, so this season was tricky so far for him but who knows how these things, how these things can change. Yeah, so, and um, he's obviously ready to use the opportunity when he gets it. Last two, take the, take the scarf, and then finish with Dave Maddox. You have a just quick one. Any injury worries there on Tuesday? Kurt still came up. Yeah, he not sure it's a concern. Yet he just wanted a strapping. So he, he twisted his ankle, wanted a strapping, but we wanted to change anyway. So um, that was then he got a strapping, obviously. But after he came off, um, but he could obviously walk normal. But I didn't see him yet. I think if then that should be the only one. So Trel Matip had obviously a proper looked like a golf ball here, but it was nothing serious. It was just a. What is that? A bruise and, and, and swole up a little bit, but he said no, he's completely fine. Um, because that's why he had the, um, the, the strapping there. 
That's it. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah um, Diogo's goal, it, it was kind of the movement was reminiscent of, sort of, like, of Robbie Fowler. Oh. And, and, and um, I just wondered whether, was that something you were spotted in before you, you, you bought it? Developed in the, because I know you, you work with him a lot on the movement. Yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, both probably. So um, it was always clear that Jogo is not a pure winger. Jogo is a striker who can defend the wing and play on the wing. Both wings, thank God, played for us all three positions up front um, and just did, did always really well. Um, today, in a game like this, it's really important that the boys play the game and not the position. That means you have to end up in, in, in these kind of situations which we where we struggle sometimes, that we are a bit too static. This was a very fluent situation where obviously Joey um, was higher, got the ball, great cross, but then if there's nobody, it, it's still the same cross with no output, no outcome. And um, so, no, great goal, absolutely. And he, he, is, he is that guy. And um, it was for sure always in him. But I said it now a couple of times, um, at Wolves he had to play, he had a different job. Um, and he he did that job that good that we thought we want him. And um, and since he's coming, he improved a lot. That is a little bit up to his age, the, 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 he's growing um, into the top world-class striker role step by step and it's um, obviously delivering for, for Portugal pretty consistently which is a, a difficult um, a job to do there with all the, the, the offensive talent they have um, so he's exact, ex actually he's the player we thought he will be and even a little bit better thanks everyone thank you see you bye bye